the popover. So now I'm going to show all of the different tabs inside the popover itself. Oh, you know what? Let's go to this one and one with some stuff in it. So in here, we can see all of the WordPress users and I can assign the users to this task just by clicking. And I can unassign them by clicking here. And what this does is, is that for all of the notification notifications that they have selected. So let's say, for example, this this account here, Tony, has said he wants to be notified when, it, when a new comment is on tasks. If I put a comment in here and say, uh, that means that Tony will receive that notification for this specific task because I've ticked him on here. Um, and then we have the uh, urgency of the task. So if I want to make it a critical task, I just click here and it will mark it as critical. And a very similar thing to the task center like we showed you in the dashboard. This is all tracked. So everything that's done inside the popover will show here. So any changes that are made, um, and then I can also change the status so I can complete the task from here as well. I can mark it back as open. Then we have the automatic screenshot, which is shown here. I can also screenshot my current view. So if I click this here, this will generate an image inside the task itself showing a screenshot. Um, and this is just a way to, you know, if your client needs to show you something and it's not in the automatic screenshot, let's say, for example, this task is remapped and we're going to go into that after as well. But this will just let your client take a screenshot without them needing to, you know, how you use Nimbus or capture or, you know, print screen into paint and trying to get your clients to make screenshots is always a pain in the ass. So this is just a way to make it super easy for them to do so. I would even say that this is a great feature for a developer that wants to show that something is done. Look, I changed it. Mm, good idea. I never even thought, I never considered that. So they don't even need to go to the task itself inside, like, let's say the task center or the location itself. They can see it in the task center that this has been changed. It's been done sort of thing. Yeah, that's great. Uh, and then we have further information here. So I can add custom tags here, like we showed you in the dashboard. So, you know, I can say uh, design. This is for the design team. And this will also add it onto the agency dashboard where I can then filter based off of this tag as well, uh, making this super handy. I can also remove tags as well. If I just click it, it deletes it from here. I can see the resolution, the browser, the person who made the task and the task ID. I can delete it from here. And we also ask, you know, again, do you want to delete it just in case you click this by accident? And then here we finally have the share link. So this will have the pop-up like we showed you before. And with this link, you will get taken specifically to this task. So, you know, let me, let's say I want to discuss this specific task with my client. I can send them this link, they log in and it takes them directly to that task and it will pop it open for them as well. Um, and you can also remove this login parameter as well. Like we were talking about before guest mode, if you don't require a login to use the plugin, I can remove this and it will send them to this task specifically. And I can also do that with the page as well, even though you could probably just send them the link yourself, but if it's a specific page and you don't want to do it here, you can just do it here and copy this and send it to them as well. Let's say this is getting in my way. Uh, like I'm trying to view something, but I also want to view the task. I can move this over here. And but you know, it's it doesn't nice move. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't move the task. It's just moving it temporarily. So once I re if I refresh, the task will go back to its original location. Um, so you can do that. You can also uh, mark this as complete from here. So obviously marking this complete is quite a common thing to do with the task. So you can just click here and it will mark it as complete once you send. So this is just a quick way to complete the task. And one of the fundamental things that I've missed is you can upload images. So let's say I want to add this image. This is an image I need to put for my client or my client's giving me this, this uh, image here and it uploads it here. And just to reiterate, this is not hosted on the website server. It is hosted on our side. It is only hosted with your website if you push it to the media folder like Vito showed earlier. Um, and I can also, you know, I can open it in a new window like here and I can also delete it as well if I don't need this anymore. So I just click here and it removes it. You can actually everything. upload um, all kinds of different files. All kinds of files zip files docs and you know whatever is yeah needed, uh, so well. i had a, a quite an interesting case of this with a demo uh, or an implementation call where somebody wanted to host all of their files and get them away from dropbox so i yeah. you know I, I showed him why don't you just create like a page like an account page for your client and have specific bubbles set up for tasks so for example this one would just be all zips and they would create this task and then they would right. upload all of the zip files that were relevant to that project or nice. all of the PDFs that were relevant to that project. And it just keeps it all neat for you. So he said the annoying thing about one of his clients was that he always asked him for login details or he always asked him for files. Now he's just got it all on a page for his client in, in tasks. Yeah. Um, so he can see that in his task center.